Hey, Minecrafters, it's Kimmy Say, and I just want to invite you to another adventure of Kimmy Say Craft. Woohoo! Yes, and you can tell that I'm recording this on, well, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve, and I want to make sure we got a video out this week because it is Christmas. Woo! Look at all the treasure chests. You know, if you don't know, Mo Yang, once a year, um, when it's Christmas, they go ahead and change all the chests um, to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> change all the chests to Christmas presents. Yay, yay. Well, anyways, so hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day because today I'm going to go ahead and get started on a new project. Now, what I did what I did in my live stream is I was helping out 8-Bit. I just love the presents. I was helping out 8-Bit Kid and um and our buddy um what's his face splinter they're gonna they were they're gonna start a wither skeleton farm because they want to go ahead and get some beacons real easy well they haven't quite gotten to it yet but they didn't find the location so what i did is i went ahead and decided to give them a hand so during the stream i went ahead and made a bridge to the to the farm area now what we're what we're going to need though is we're going to need a bunch of resources so let's see here I think I got everything I need on me let's go ahead and put my elytra back on really quick boom notice I got this really cool wither skeleton head I'm gonna go ahead and take this head and we are going to mount it right above my bedroom yay that's cool I'm gonna come back for that that's awesome I'm gonna have to kill some more weathers to, weathers to get those okay well anyway so what I want to do is a big kid said she could help me out with some Ooh, I need to just stop where is my inner chest hi okay before I go any further what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my let's see here ender chest where's my ender chest I um, yeah there's my ender chest okay let's see here I need my this right here because what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and put away my wither star because I want that nice and safe and we're going to go ahead and put that back up in the chest nice um, wonder what happened to my under chest well hmm okay so here's what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff together and I will be meet you guys back at the location and we're gonna show you how we're gonna build this farm so this is Kimmy say be back in just a bit Okay, guys, this is Kimmy. Say, I am back. I'm at the fortress. This fortress is just towards the Guardian Farm, and it is perfect in, in a lot of good ways. Except for that. You know, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Another one. And this is, and they broke all the blaze spawners actually up here, so it's just one of the most annoying things. But one of the nice things about this, okay? One of the nice things about this is that this place is really primed to be one heck of a great weather skeleton farm. So, let's just talk about what you need for a good weather skeleton farm. I don't need those. Okay, you know, if you look over here, in the area where I'm at, you'll notice that we have one, one, sorry, one, Two, three. I need to just get rid of these guys. He's just uh, just gonna be a pain in the butt until I get rid of them. Okay. Okay. But what we're looking for is to make a good wither skeleton farm. There we go. What you need are you need these cross sections right here. My goodness. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to make the super cheap, ultra easy wither skeleton farm made by, uh, designed by a guy named Tango Tech. Yeah, so he's one of my, he's one of my favorite technical um, hermit crafters. And basically he came up with the farm that what it does is it utilizes the height of a, 
well basically how high a um, wither skeleton is compared to other mobs that's the advantage of this thing now it's what makes this the super cheap easy wither skeleton farm is you really don't need any redstone okay you don't have to have multiple layers in a farm okay all you basically need is the spawning spaces so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to start clearing off this area because this takes a little bit of work okay and unfortunately we are wide open in another play in, in another cave so we got to be careful of things dropping in on us <laughs> yep gas and you know also other other little things will be will become annoying to us as well um, pigmen will become annoying not quite as annoying as gas and but blazes will become extremely annoying so what we're going to do is this area right here we've got all these cross sections what we're going to do is we're going to build a platform okay and we're going to go ahead and use another brick to do it because one I'm going to have plenty of it by the time I take down these towers and go ahead and um, take over the um, the other area now um, Hopefully, we're going to get some help also out from 8-Bit Kid and from Splinter, since this is something this is their, their project. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get a good start on it today because I want to give it to them for Christmas. So when they get to watch the video tomorrow for Christmas, because I'm going to have this video up tonight, they're going to see my gift to my server mates is help on the Wither Skeleton Farm. woo hoo hoo So they can get beacons, too. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking down all this area, okay? And I'm going to start building platforms across it because that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of work, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and start grinding it. And I will let you know when I, get, when I have an update for you guys. Okay, just got out of that. So, here's a pro tip, guys. <clears throat> if you ever fall in a lava lake, <sighs> there's two ways you can survive. Have some fire protection and armor on, which is awesome. Have a potion of fire protection, which is awesome again. Or have protection for armor on and steak. Because as you swim out of the lava, don't lose your and you don't want to lose your um <laughs> lose your control. As you swim out of the lava, find the platform and get to it. And you will actually generate health quicker with that stake, so that you will end up generating enough health to survive it. There you go, finally out. Okay. <laughs> You just got to not lose your not lose your cool on it because if you panic that's when you die. <laughs> uh, now I have to find my way back up there. So, um, yeah, working on the platform, it's starting to come together. I just happened to have a boo boo and I fell off, fell down. Yeah. Okay, guys. This is Kimmy say. <laughs> let you I'll bring you back when I get some more work done well and again this is just the starting starting point of this so you know this is going to take a lot of work guys and there we go I think I got enough now to get out of here okay okay so um, as soon as I move on I will let you know okay thanks a lot see ya bye bye hey guys this is Kimmy say just wanted to show you how much we've gotten done. The platform's coming together. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extend it so it covers that cross platform area over there. And it goes all the way down to that edge. So we're going to continue to extend this platform until we get as many of those cross platform areas in and probably extend this at least out to there. Okay, 
So first off, first though, is I have to get rid of this lava thing, so that's why I'm towering up right here. But I want to give you a really good look about what we're trying to do here. Now, of course, one of the tough things we'll have to do after we get this is we're going to have to go over there to the rest of the fortress and basically um, make sure there are no spawning spots in that whole fortress. That means we can either slab it up or tear it down. I personally don't care which. Doesn't bother me either way, but it does have to happen. So, this was a really good way to take a view and see how, jeez, <laughs> um, see what we have to do still. So we have to go ahead and slab all this. We'll also probably have to go over there and slab a lot of that because what we want to do to make this successful is we got to make sure that we get rid of all the spawning spaces. Like, you look all the pigmen down there. We want to reduce the amount of spawning spaces so that this center platform will have, will be the only place that these guys can spawn. Even that whole walkway area that we made over there, what we'll probably do is make a walkway from there to over here so that we can just hit it and come in, come out. All that is gonna have to get slabbed up. Okay, so, um, very good. Oh no, don't want, don't want to get shot into the lava. Ah, skeleton, skeletons, go home, go home. Nice, okay, oh no. Gas, go home. Nice. Okay. Well, anyways, so um, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and continue to get as much done as I can tonight on this Christmas Eve special. My kids are already in bed, and Santa's already come. And what we're, what I'm going to be doing right now is go ahead and finish up my gift giving for my server mates, and allow give them the gift of wither. Wither skeletons, that is. Okay, see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, so check it out. We have gotten a ton of stuff done. I've cleared up a whole bunch of the nether rack, and I went ahead and created the platform. Now, whew, not sure exactly how we want to do it, but I think this is as far as I can do tonight. Now, this is taking a lot of grinding, plus, I'll tell you what, I probably killed about 50 blazes. Boy, those guys are the most annoying. Now, what do we still have to do? Well, let's see here. I think it's clear enough, so let me go ahead and throw down some stuff, and I'm going to show you really what's the next step, okay? There we go. So, here we go. This is our main platform. Now, um, what we need to do is we need to make those non-spawnable, those non-spawnable. We need to go ahead and extend this at least out to that right out there, and I think that'll do it. So we'll just keep on extending this out until we have this really long platform that we can go back and forth on, because that's really the key, is while you're standing here, you want things to spawn over there, and vice versa. So as you walk back and forth on it, in fact, we might go ahead and do what Tango did on the new season of Hermitcraft and make a boat in the middle so you can like boat it up between the places. But that's what we're going to do. Now, all this other nether rack, we're going to have to make it unspawnable. So we're going to go through that whole place. We're probably going to slab the entire thing. I think that'd be the easiest way to go. Because slabs are cheap. And we can go ahead and do that pretty easily. And then what we'll do is instead of having the entrance to the farm over there, we'll have the entrance to the farm like over here. So we'll take a left there, come over here, and then boom, we are easy peasy. We will be in um, Wither's Skeleton Fun Zone. Okay, got myself some blaze issues. So that is what the plan is guys this is going to be great this is going to add a new thing to the server we're going to be able to get beacons faster than we ever had before oh didn't get that guy okay and we were going to make this this is going to be fun okay so i just want to say thanks a lot for watching tuning in we are going to do part two of the wither skeleton oh, wither skeleton thing to oh probably the next couple of days should be out by friday but this is a quick christmas eve monday minecraft special i hope you guys liked it please hit that like button please continue to hit subscribe um go ahead and suggest this channel to other people that like really makes a big difference because it allows us to go ahead and get more um interplay well look at all those weather skeletons right there so i was just kidding me say i want to say bye thanks a lot hit that like button and hit that bell if you don't want to miss any more videos this is kim me say saying catch you later